Do you feel tired all the time? No matter how much sleep you get or caffeine you consume, despite that, do you also have trouble sleeping? Are you constantly hungry but also nauseous? Spend every second working but do not get enough done. Well, I'm not personally attacking you because I'm not the one asking all of this. A tweet is, it went viral a few years ago and thousands of people could relate to it. But it's not the only one. Posts after posts confirm that people are zonked. And they have tried to fix the fatigue by getting more sleep, probably why sleep tracking has become an international pastime, an obsession perhaps. Despite the eye shut, our bodies seem to have shut down. That's because sleep and rest are not the same thing. And I'll show it to you. Take a look at this list. On the left are countries that get the most sleep. On the right are nations that are the most fatigued. Notice that New Zealand is on both the lists. It is the sleepiest nation. An average Kiwi gets more than seven and a half hours of sleep per night, yet the nation is among the most tired. Same goes for Australia and the UK. That's because rest is not about how much you sleep or when. For instance, 45% Indians go to bed before 11 p.m., yet 39% men and 47% women do not feel refreshed in the morning, they say. According to research, you can get all the sleep you want and still be exhausted. Here's why. Sleep is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Being tired is a lot like getting hurt. You have to know what hurts and when. Fatigue is not the same for everyone, but scientists have tried to define it. They say there are five major ways of being tired, so five different types of rests that you need. The first is obvious, physical fatigue. If you are tired from exercising, sleep can help. But you can sit in an office chair all day and still be tired. In that case, ironically, exercise could be restful. The next type is mental fatigue, like feeling befuddled or nervy, forgetting what you were doing or misplacing things. In this case, low yield activities will help, like creating art or listening to music. So your brain can space out and rest. The third type is emotional fatigue, when too many thoughts cloud your mind. In this case, confronting your feelings helps. Next is social fatigue, when human interaction becomes draining. For some, spending alone time is restful, but social rest does not mean you opt out of socializing. So for others, quality time with friends can charge their batteries. Sensory overload can be exhausting too. If a co-worker's loud ringtone bothers you or you hate your partner for chewing loudly, it means that your noise sensitivity is heightened. So before you go on a shooting spree, just take a moment of silence. Listen to some natural sounds or soothing music because rest comes in many avatars, yet it seems to be elusive. We live in a culture of immediate responsiveness. We don't like standing in lines or waiting for websites to load. We stare at screens all day, sometimes multiple screens at the same time. Netflix and chill is rarely all that chill. So we are high achieving but also chronically tired. We suffer from a rest deficit because we don't understand the power of rest. Rest is vital for physical and mental health. It allows our bodies time to recover. It boosts our immune system, prevents injuries. It increases concentration and memory, reduces stress and improves mood. Rest is the best thing that can happen to you. It may be an uncomfortable concept for some and a difficult one for others, but think of rest as basic maintenance, humans have become caffeine-fueled zombies, functioning with frayed nerves. We can't keep existing on two brain cell energy. Sure, we can rest when we are dead, but must we wait that long?